Today on TNT Big Show, it's JRPG Spotlight with the Atelier series. All today on TNT Big Show. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Michelle Lynn Tackett. And this is Sean. Welcome to TNT Big Show. If you like our content, leave that, that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to keep mm. updated with all our latest videos. And if you want to help with that pesky algorithm, you can leave a thumbs up, comment, watch the whole video. You can also save us a playlist or share it to mm. social media. And the Atelier series has been around since the mid-90s. first game in the series was Atelier Marie, the Alchemist of San Salberg. That was released May 23rd, 1997 for the original playstation it's mostly been a playstation mainstay okay. it was on the playstation mm -hmm. 1 the playstation mm -hmm. 2 the playstation 3 playstation 4 there was portable versions for the game boy color game boy advance nintendo ds 3ds playstation portable vita and one swan color there have also been games out of this series that have made it to the sega saturn and dreamcast but now they're on the nintendo switch especially mm -hmm. the new one the most popular incarnation of the series is atelier Ryza alchemist of the end and secret key, which has sold more on the Switch than it has the PlayStation console. It just goes to show, sadly, how Sony has left their focus on the games that used to be their bread and butter. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if you want to know some about it, and all of this, yes, I'm getting from Wikipedia, but guess what? I go by the sources on Wikipedia. This is a pretty good article. Something that you have common elements are alchemy. That's the distinguishing theme in the Altelier series. Also go out roaming and collecting collectibles, objects, and stuff. The gameplay hook, though, is that you collect synthesized objects. They're required, according to the article, in order to create more powerful or potent objects through alchemy. Many of the games feature a method of transferring mm. properties of one item from the recipe to the synthesized item. Mm. So that means that you can make all sorts of different gadgets and gizmos and stuff, different yeah. things like that. The new one, the Atelier Ryza 3, has an 83 on Open Critic and an 84 on Metacritic, meaning that so far it's getting good reviews and people like the game. There have been 24 four mainline games in the series. From Atelier Marie mm. to Atelier Ellie and stuff, but Atelier Ryza has been the most mm. popular one. And the third one is getting a lot of worldwide attention. I hope it does really good because I really do think the series is colorful and cute. The characters are always very uplifting. Most of the time, most of the time, not all the time, but there's really no antagonist in the game. Uh, according to the article, the game stories are typically lighthearted and humorous, often deriving conflict from a source other than an antagonist, and the player ends up with a large group of characters to explore the world with. And the third one, there's like 11, right? Yeah. It's a fun series. Yeah. And I the like, art style's very cute. I like the bright, open, colorful worlds, and they're yeah. really bright and colorful. The characters, they look appealing. I really like the look of them. Yeah, it's a really fun series, <laughs> and a lot of people say they play it because it helps them with their depression and anxiety because it's so relaxing well that's the whole fun, point of a yeah. fun game that's yeah the whole point that's exactly right and i'm so happy that this is on the switch it is on the playstation 4 and stuff too unfortunately it's just not selling nearly as much as the switch version but still it's out there but if you're looking for a new jrpg series to sink your teeth into try the atelier series okay. something more relaxing and yes the combat is turn-based and there is a little bit of challenge but it's mostly mm. more of a relaxed fun mm. experience mm. Mm. it's the closest thing you're going to get to a cozy jrpg mm. that's good i hope you all give it a chance and enjoy it because i've talked to people on our page mm. who took our advice on games like octopath shimigami tensei and they were like wow thank you we love these games well okay try the atelier series for yourself they may become one of your favorite franchises this is me michelle ann tackett that's Have a good one. Thank you all for enjoying the video, and thanks to our Patreons for supporting us. You guys help make this video possible. And you can also join our Patreon if you want for as little as $1 a month. You can get things like Jack's Joke of the Week, which will be up later today. You can also join our Reddit, which is TNTE Games. And you can also join our Discord, which is TNT Big Show 3665. And that's not all. We have an Instagram, we have TikTok, and we have a WordPress blog. Thank you all for supporting us so much and have a wonderful day.